Oprah has told me that a recipe has to look really good for her to cook it. And uh, she does peruse a lot of magazines looking for good ideas for her kitchen. No, I mostly and, peruse yours. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. I'm yeah. happy to hear that. Yeah. And uh, this uh, recipe for tomato cobbler looked huh. really good to her. And she's, good. look how fast you did that. That's pretty good. Oh, my gosh. I better, yeah, I better catch up. This is in the March edition for those of you who collect them like I do. You collect your living Indeed. magazines. Yes, good. Now, the, the crust is very easy. It's all made in the uh, bowl of a, a food processor. One and a quarter cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of sugar, and the Gruyere cheese. Just a half so, a cup. Yes, a half a cup. Mm. So this, this is what makes it so great, I think, because oh. it's melted I into know. the crust. Oh, it's so good. And one half a cup of unsalted butter, and that is cold because it's sort of like making a pie crust, although we're making a cobbler crust. A cobbler crust. A cobbler okay. crust. So we're just going to pulse that a little bit. It's very easy to do. I ran into your trainer in the bathroom. She said we're going to have to run extra hard tomorrow. I know. I have a cup she of tells butter. me that every single day. And to this, we're going to add water just until it holds together. About, oops, take that out. I'd like to feed the water down the feed you. And this is iced water. What difference does that make? My rule, I have a golden rule for a pie crust. Mm -hmm. Make it cold. Make it cold. Bake it hot. Can you remember that? <sighs> Got it. <laughs> make it cold. Bake it hot. Right. You could make a song of that. Easy. And so we're looking so, for a certain so kind of consistency. So the less water, the better. So you can just see it's starting to come uh -huh, together. Uh -huh. And the other way that you tell that it is done is when you grab a little bit in your hand and squeeze it. It's not wet, but it holds together. And okay. it's still like crumbly. Okay. So this see? we're looking for this very texture. Yep. Okay. Not soaking wet. And so this, if you don't mind, you okay. can put this, put this, um, oh, we can make a few more crusts, Oprah. We could have enough of that. Yeah, we do. Mm, so here, just, good. that is the best Gruyere cheese. And if you just wrap this, and wrap this in a flat round. Okay. Not a ball, because a ball has to chill, and you want it flat so you can just roll it out easily. So Be careful of the blade. It's a brand new shirt. So what am I going to do? Press it out here? Yeah, take that all out. Okay. You can use a rubber scraper if you want. All right. Once you get it. And, and then I'll show you a little trick. Okay. Any tricks you can show me that I can take back to Chicago. You Appreciate it. Okay. I... There you go. Baking and is a science, and you need the whole thing. Now watch. Instead of using your hands, you just take your plastic wrap oh. like this and draw it up. And so you have made absolutely no mess whatsoever. You See how nice? Oh, very nice. Yeah, it, is. it really works. And Do you, you just come up with these things? Well, you after you bake about... 45,000 pies, <laughs> which I have in my life. And there, you have a perfect flat round, and that goes into the refrigerator and is chilled. Right. Have to chill it, give the flour, the gluten in the flour time to rest. And that chills for, what, an hour? About, yeah, about. Yes. And you can make this today and make it tomorrow. All right.